When building data pipelines in Foundry, we're often working with live data that is being continuously updated in the field. In order to ensure that downstream consumers of this data are not reading and operating on stale data, we need a way to propagate our data changes through our pipelines. Schedules allow us a way to manage these live builds of data through a set of configurable triggers. In this video, we'll be creating a schedule and viewing how its data lineage is related to its resulting build. Then, we'll be running this build and viewing the schedule that triggered it. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the pipeline we'll be working with. This pipeline here produces a set of downstream ontology objects from a set of upstream datasets. Specifically, this pipeline works with aviation data, starting with flight control, flight delays, aviation metrics, operations management, and finally, an aviation ontology. Specifically, we're focused on the aviation ontology and this object here, delays. To keep the delays object up to date, we'll need to update its backing data set, delays. In order to do this, we'll be using a schedule. Let's go ahead and create the schedule for our data set. We can do this by hovering over to the Manage Schedules tab. From here, we can then press Create in order to create our schedule. The first thing we want to do is add our dataset as a target dataset. It now shows up under the Target Datasets tab in our schedule. We can then add a descriptive title for our schedule. Flight delays should be good. We can also add a description. We'll skip that for now. The Manage Schedules tab allows us to manage our schedules while also viewing how our schedules relate to the data lineages that we're working on in our pipelines. This tab here shows several different configurations we can use to build our schedules. Right now, we've only selected a target data set, but we also want to build the data sets that are upstream of this data set. To do this, we select the Include Upstream Data Sets toggle. If we zoom out now, we'll see that the data lineage application has now rendered the data sets which will be built upstream of our target data set. From this view, we can see that the upstream data sets will be attempted to be built in order to then produce our target data set. Our schedule has been configured as a full build, meaning that all the data sets upstream of our target data set will be built. We can see this here in its data lineage. We've configured what our schedule should build, but in order to keep our data up to date, we need to know when to build. To do this, let's configure the When to Build tab on our schedule. Let's configure our schedule to run at a specific time. From this tab, we can specify the cadence at which our schedule should run. For our case, let's make our schedule run every three minutes. Now that we've configured our schedule, we know that it will be built on a cadence of every three minutes. The schedule also knows to build all of the datasets upstream of our target datasets due to the fact that we configured a full build. Foundry now has enough information to know when to run our schedule and how to run it. To save our schedule, we click on the Save button in the bottom right. Now we can see that our schedule shows up on our pipeline. The build of the schedule is also rendered along with the schedule. Now that the schedule is registered within Foundry, we'll have to wait three minutes for it to trigger. Now that enough time has passed, our schedule has been triggered. We can see this by the build that was queued four minutes ago. If we click on our dataset, we can then hover down to the History tab in order to view the build that has been queued. From the build details, we can see which schedule triggered the build. And by clicking on the View Schedule button, we then get back our flight delays schedule. If we zoom out, we'll also see the data lineage that we configured previously. From this view, we can also specifically select the data sets that are going to be built as a part of this build. We can then go to the build report in order to see the same view that we saw previously, which shows that this build was triggered by the schedule that we set up. This video has shown us how to configure our schedule to build target data sets based on time-based triggers.